Gemini, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is for Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. <sighs> Always watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, dudes, because why? That energy is impacting you, and you'd be surprised how much. If you want a deeper reading, um, there's always an extended reading that I hope that you can join me for. Um, so check that out. The link is always in the description box below. Um, if you haven't yet already, Gemini, please do subscribe to the channel. And once you do, you can select, uh, ring that bell and hit all notifications. Um, and that way you'll know when, when I come out with your favorite content. Gemini content comes out every single Thursday between the hours of 8 and 9 a.m. over on the West Coast USA, East Coast USA. That's about um, 12 noon, 1. And then over Western Europe, it's about 6 p.m. But ultimately, I hope everyone around the world um, gets to see the video. And it comes to you just at the right time when you need to see it. Uh, there's always, um, hold on, there's always more content over on my second YouTube channel. It is called Astrology motivation and I'll attach the link above I hope you'll go check that out as well as subscribe over there and if you want to join me for live chats then you come on over to Instagram you can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries you ready Gemini these readings have been a little bit too much for me to handle this week lots of energy floating around let's see what's in the cards for you oh geez you know what? You're trying to make up for your heartbreak or for disappointment by doing some cruel ass sadomasochistic shit. <laughs> no, um, I'm just looking at these cards, but it is it's almost like you're that you're distancing yourself too much, like being extremely or like, yeah, going to the extremes, like going to um, like um, going to the extremes of like, I don't give a f I'm going to do whatever I want. I'm going to do whatever I need to do. Um, I don't care. Going to the extremes of I don't care. And you know what? It's not really true because the truth is you do really care. Um, but it's almost like you're going, you're like, I'm going to be too cold about this. I'm just going to be totally cold about this. Or I'm going to be too, like, yeah, objective about, not objective, cold. No, cold's the word. I'm just not going to care. I'm going to have my fun, but I'm not going to care. Now, this could be a strategy and maybe this is something that you want right now. But heartbreak is what's driving you to this maybe in some ways heartbreak has driven you to a certain level of clarity so that you really get to the point where you actually don't care anymore that could be that could be where you are too like somebody drove you to that point these are the cards that I'm looking at this could also mean that you're getting some clarification or um some you're, it's like almost like you're trying to get control over your heartbreak because you don't want to be heartbroken anymore so you're trying to get clarity on it and that clarity may not come from information that can clarify clear things up for you but it's coming from you you're like psyching yourself up being like I'm not gonna give a shit about this anymore I'm not gonna, get, gonna let this control me I'm I'm going to force myself to think about other shit. Um, ultimately, I'm going to say this. You hurting. You're hurting inside. And you do what you got to do to make yourself not hurt. Right? You, you do that. Um, but also honor yourself enough, even in just the private the privacy of your own space, right? You don't have to make this a public announcement or do this publicly, but make this, um, honor yourself enough in the privacy of your own space, Gemini, to make the decision to feel it, to heal it, to honor yourself enough to say, because honestly, when you push away your emotions, what are you doing? You're dishonoring a part of yourself and it's a very valid part of yourself, right? But you're invalidating your emotions when you push them away you got to be on your own side you got to get on your own side you got to love yourself enough to say i have a right to feel these things i have a right to cry if i need to be sad if i need to be disappointed if i need to i have a right to these feelings i have a right to these feelings of of feeling betrayed and feeling confused and being vulnerable i have a right to these feelings um now i do hope that there is some sort of information that ends up coming in to clarify what the hell happened. Also a sense of this could be you getting over your heartbreak, having finally turned the corner of <clears throat> you left all that behind and now you're finally able to get on with things because we do have the Empress here, which is somebody who is very whole, very together. She's got it all going on. She, 
don't know what the hell's going on there. Um, she's very, she's living a very prosperous, abundant, happy life. And then we have the six of cups. So there's, but there's some sort of melancholy here. Six of cups is always melancholy energy to me. Um, or it's just you owning or finding happiness in simple things like you would have from childhood, maybe looking back or reminiscing, finding some joy. It could be that you're at a point right now where you've turned the corner and you're so far you've gotten over the heartbreak so much that it's like you're friends with somebody again kind of thing. Now, certainly, Gemini, you don't have to offer that, right? That's you being really kind-hearted and open-hearted. A lot of people tell me that about the Geminis. Like, if they, got a, if they got a Gemini as an ex, they end up being friends with them. <laughs> Maybe that's your, just your thing. Maybe that's your way of getting over stuff. Um, we have, oh, Justice, the Libra card, Partnership, and the Knave of Pentacles is here. So there is uh, something on the horizon, a new partnership on the horizon, or there is has been a little bit of compensation, let's put it that way, because this is the Justice card. This is to make things even, to even things out, to smooth things out. There has a little bit, there's been a little bit of compensation, a little bit of effort from the other side. Um, this could also be starting to take steps to a new partnership um this could be a new partnership with the old person because you were able to leave the bad feelings behind or forgive completely right this this could also be that um there could be something starting off with a libra but ultimately i feel like there has been some small steps taken to make some sort of compensation to somehow they're compensating you i keep getting that word compensation um, to balance things out or settle the score, but not in a like a vengeful way. Settle the score as in an even way. Um, some sort of justice is coming through here uh, for you. And then we have King of Chalices. This is Scorpionic energy. We're in Scorpio season, but this is embodied in a person. So this is somebody who's extremely intense, extremely passionate. Doesn't necessarily show their emotions easily, but you can feel, right? You're picking up these vibes. Um, this is somebody who is very sensual, very, uh, very attractive without trying to attract attention. Maybe mysteriously attractive. This could be your tall, dark, and stormy, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. We'll get into it. Let's see what these cards reveal. Oh, yeah, definitely. Somebody wants you. We have the six of wands, uh, public recognition, success, happiness, victory. And then we have ace of pentacles, a new start. Now, this could also be you reaching for new opportunity and you getting it. You being validated and getting the job. You you um, being able to move forward with something um, that maybe you're not talking a lot about. Maybe you're keeping it very close to your chest right now um, because you want to keep it close to your chest. You don't want to share this with everybody. You know, sometimes when we get our heart broken, we learn very quickly, it's easier to get my heart broken in private than in public. Maybe I just don't want to share any of this shit right now up front. Maybe it's, it's almost like, I don't want to jinx it. That's, that's the whole thing. I'm like, I don't want to jinx it. I'm just going to keep it to myself for right now. Something new that is happening, but there is a new start here and there is new desire here, but I feel like you're still... There's something about this desire that you're keeping close to the chest or your chest, like keeping it to yourself. Like I said, you can do this in private. This is something that is you want it to be. A, you want it to be more private. Um, uh, like it's, it, it doesn't have to be romance at all. It could be you have applied for a new job, but you don't want to get your hopes up, so you kind of just want to like kind of wade through this all and and not talk about it or not, you know. Gemini. Ooh, let's get, this is kind of juicy. There's peace here. Once again, Libra energy is here. Um, but this is showing itself as actually peace. Regeneration. You're making peace with somebody from your past. That's what's going on, Gemini. I don't know how. I don't know how you're doing it, but you're making peace with, you're making peace with somebody from your past regeneration maybe you're starting up a situation again or you're starting up you know like i said you've been able to put your past behind you been able to conquer the heartbreak or the disappointment or what, whatever was hurting either of you or the both of you whatever was hurting you um you're able to you were able to get over enough to get for something 
something to grow out of those ashes. That's what regeneration is. Regeneration is also scorpionic energy, right? Um, something's coming back to life. And ultimately, this is Scorpio season. And you have Scorpio sitting here on the table. There's a lot of fucking Scorpio energy here. So this is definitely a sense of something is coming back to life. Remember, we are clear out of Mercury retrograde. That is your ruling energy, and Mercury is very direct now. We're even out of the shadow period. So ultimately, there's something that's starting to come out of the ashes. Um, in other words, all that shit is over with. This is you thinking with your right mind. This is you clarifying things. A lot of shit could have come up that was messed up and was miscommunications over the retrograde. You can be sure that this is very clear now. And that means that, Gemini, these doors could have opened up for you to be able to speak to each other again, uh, for the opportunity to be back on the table again. Um, something has come back to life. And then we have peace here. Um, that's also that Libra energy, finding balance. Um, um, now that there could be... Let, let me know. I'm not going to go too deep into it right now. Peace is simply this, 1111, like awakened realizing that there's more important shit to focus on here, finding that and finding balance with that, like happiness, harmony, peace. You're actually really on your way to happiness, to be honest with you. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? I'm actually really fucking happy for you guys. You're on your way to, to like things starting to make sense again, Gemini. Wow. Oh, lots happening in the future, babies. Lots happening in the future. Okay, we have disruption. Disruption. So something had fragmented your sense of life, your sense of existence, your sense of self. Something had cut into it, made everything feel chopped up, and it, it didn't feel right. Or you thought something was completely gone or degraded or destroyed, and it would never come back because it was chopped up into pieces. Um, there was a disruption to your life, an interruption for something. I don't know what it was, but ultimately... Um, this is what caused a great deal of pain. I don't, I don't know what it was. Could have been a breakup, could have been you were laid off or you were furloughed, right? Um, or something happened where whatever, orders didn't come in, all those things that you'd sort of let yourself start to get comfortable with and feel certain about, all of a sudden just, it's like somebody kind of really shocked you. Um, and and ultimately th that is that is being pieced back together again it's like it's like the mummy being fully restored to life that kind of thing oh damn uh foundation and achievements it's got something to do with your family it's got something to do with your home it's got something to do with the things close to your heart that are extremely important to you right um those it's like let your heart shine here let yourself feel what you have to feel and don't be ashamed that this is something that you really want and hold dear um it's everything to you it could be have to do with your children right absolutely um this could be finally letting yourself love again or getting back with an ex or going back to a place where you feel comfortable. Maybe you're returning back home after not having talked to people or been with them for a long time. Suffering in silence is here. So watch out for this in the future because ultimately, as wonderful as this feeling is, make sure you're not like that scorpionic energy, just getting high on the possibility and potential of everything going back to normal. Because the truth is this, Gemini, shit still has to be worked out. And somebody is still very much hurting, suffering, or feeling like they're on their own. And that is either you or whoever you're dealing with, this this is something that has to be addressed. So let me let's get back to that. Sometimes it's really easy to be like, oh, we're back together again. Everything is fine. It's not. You have to have the kind of maturity in you to flesh out why the fuck this shit happened and make sure it doesn't happen again. Because ultimately something is still rattling you. As much as you feel peace, there is that peace of, but I don't know, I felt peace before. Will the, will the rug be pulled out from underneath me again? 
And you have to answer to yourself, no, I'm not going to let the rug be pulled out from underneath me again because I'm going to address this face on now and we're going to work through the actual shit, right? We're going to talk about this. Oh my God, what is wrong with the hair? We're going to talk about this. We're going to make this make sense. Somebody is trapped in fear and the waiting game. That's interesting. And suffering in silence. What is that about? I really want to know. Can you please clarify? What is this? What is somebody suffering from? What are they waiting on? Oh, you could be waiting on them making a decision as to whether or not they're it's almost like you've gotten this glimmer of hope that they want you back, but it's like you're sitting there being tormented and tortured as you go through all of this, as you like you're um like like as as you're going through all of this, you're wondering, you know, are they are they going to come back? Are they going to come back? There's glimmers of hope, there's talks, there's but there's possibility, there's potential. Hold on. See, this is very particular slow down Gemini slow down because you don't want to get oh my god you don't want to get into a situation where you get your heart stomped on stomped on again you need to be direct with this person and I know you can be direct happy birthday Doug Denny I know you can be direct right you need to be direct with this person and call them out on their shit and I do think there's a sense of you know you're you're it's almost like it's gonna feel like like you're being tormented as you wait for this answer. I don't know if y'all know me well enough. Don't wait for nobody. I'm just saying. I mean, I can't see this is right now. It's almost like it's almost like you were forced to be around people you didn't want to be with. And that's why you jumped at the chance to be with this old person or to get this old job back, right? You were, you didn't really like the feeling of the new people around you. You didn't really like the feeling of, of who you had to be around. And so honestly, this was almost like jumping ship. You found the solution to your heartache. You jumped right into it. Oh, Gemini, Gemini, don't do that. Don't do that because you're fucking yourself. Because I'll tell you right now, this is not set in stone. I was about to get all happy for you guys. This is not set in stone. They are not as uh, certain as you want them to be or as they should be. Their certainty isn't equal to yours. So, okay, a little bit more information, please. Okay, thank you. Um, you're going to have to take on a lot of responsibilities. You're going to be required to take on a lot of responsibilities that just to let you know that there's a lot of new responsibilities in this. Maybe, maybe you didn't even foresee just how much work was going to have to go into putting these pieces back together again. You know, sometimes all the King's horses and all the King's men don't waste your time. It's a fucking egg, and we got the egg. You want to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. That's what's going to give you peace. But you know what? That's not what's giving you peace. It's actually postponing your healing. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Uh, Nine of Pentacles is here. Um, this does mean finally coming to terms in some way with um, your singularity, um, feeling comfortable. Like, like, but what this is going to do is at least it's going to make you feel like it's going to help you put your pieces back together again. Just this sense of somebody hasn't dumped me or somebody... <clears throat> Somebody hasn't completely abandoned me or left me. Um, that sense of your own, your own sense of self, you're able to piece back together again. Um, ultimately, I don't know if if you're going to take this position back or if you and this person um, are going to get back, but there's some get back together. But there's some sense of at least at least somehow in some way it's helping you heal. Um, no, I want these. Gemini. Gemini. Ooh, lots of these advice cards here. Moldavite. Aquamarine. Aqua Aura. Let yourself feel all your emotions clear quartz. what I say? Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. 
please do yourself the justice. Do not stifle, it's indicated, do not stifle what you're feeling. You have to own what you're feeling and honor it. Then we have aqua aura, healthy communication in relationships, heart to heart discussions, what I say, and clear assertive communication help you understand and be understood. There you go. There you go. Say what you feel. Own your feelings and then stand by them. Don't let this be easy on somebody. Don't take the burden onto you to make it easy on them. Please don't do that. Um, unconventionality. Your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others. So be yourself, right? Be yourself. Don't be what somebody else needs. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Let's go to the extended so we get a deeper dive, digging deep. I hope you can join me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to like it and share it on your social media platforms. And I will see you in the extended or I will see you next week. Either way, I'll see you guys soon.